The Oregon Liquor Control Commission is issuing a health and safety advisory, and this is after it says a packaged marijuana product failed pesticide tests. On Fox 12's Sarah Horwitz is live in studio with a breakdown of which shops in Oregon are impacted and what you need to know. Sarah? Well, there are several here in the state. The OLCC says the affected marijuana flower failed its pesticide test because it exceeded the acceptable limit. It says the product was made by licensed marijuana producer Ard Rye and packaged for sale to retailers by licensed wholesaler Dime Distribution. Now take a look at your screen. Right now the OLCC says the flower was incorporated into pre-rolled joints marketed under Winberry Farm Sweet Leaf Blend with the strain name Trapstar. Here's a full list of the shops where the product was sold. Spark off of Northeast Fremont Street in Portland, which recently changed its name to Cura Leaf. Then Ancient, Ancient Remedies off of State Street in Salem, Puff, Oregon and Manning, Rogue River Herbal PMC in Rogue River, the joint off of Market Street in Northeast Salem, Stony, Stony Only Clackamas and Clackamas, and Tsunami Marijuana LLC in Seaside. We've also got Trackdown Collective in Eugene and the Green Room in Corvallis. Now today, I also stopped by Spark, which again is known as Cura Leaf in Northeast Portland. One customer shared her concerns, saying that she expects the regulation of marijuana to ensure her safety. The reason I buy out of dispensary is because I think that it is safe, because I think that those tests have been done and that that's why dispensaries are open is because the weed should be good and safe. Now the OLCC says it's investigating the test failure and put a hold on the product. It also says there have been no reports of illness, though the possible health impacts of consuming marijuana products with unapproved pesticide residues is unknown. Reporting live here in studio, Sarah Hurwitz, Fox 12 Oregon.